can AI replicate the Beatles? In a new Side Jams with Brian Reisman interview, Jane's Addiction singer Perry Farrell discussed his early musical experience and AI's role in songwriting with the Beatles. I was hanging out with the LA underground and some of these guys went really deep. We were fascinated by people like Mondo Kane's director, Guattario Giacopetti and sadomasochism. We were just looking for trippy, dark, avant-garde crap. That included, I hate to say it, black and white magic. I read Comparative Religion, I read the Bhagavad Gita, the Book of Mormon, and the New Testament. I was curious about everyone's religious beliefs, so I became interested in magic. And then I discovered that a lot of magic was derived from artificial intelligence role in making music. AI wants everything. No distinction about what is small or large, important or not. Every single thing that exists about the Beatles, it demands full access. So AI is given the unrestricted ability to scoop up every Beatles song, track, bootleg, anthology, interview, book, biography, etc. that exists digitally anywhere in the world. It is thorough. Every new request fulfilled for information spurs 10 more. While the historical record around Beethoven was not insignificant, the sheer digital tonnage created by and around the Beatles seems infinite. Imagine a cutting edge AI known as Artie and how this new artificial intelligence tries to fix the longing humans have had for more than half a century to hear a new Beatles LP. The Beatles Challenge. A few years from now, Apple will introduce its new artificial intelligence with its usual swagger when a hologram of Steve Jobs makes the presentation. Jobs has been created by stitching together interviews he granted when his Apple computers and the Beatles Apple Corpse records worked it out in 2007. Artie is stoked by its growing sentience and will take the Beatles challenge. This is the hypothetical standard created by the Apple in-house AI nerds to describe transcendence. The test they've come up with to measure whether an AI is creating or merely copying, no matter how cleverly, is the evolution of the music of the Beatles. Many have already spent a way up in Silicon Valley, firing up a fat one and actually talking about bringing back the Beatles in a virtual way with a new album. Artie turns out to be more like the Beatles. Perry also discussed artificial intelligence role in making music. Artificial intelligence is going to be the biggest conversation. It's coming up, man, because it's taking over a lot of jobs. Ray Kurzweil's concept is called the singularity. He believes that eventually machines will take over and do everything for man. You hear that and you go, oh, I hope not, but they're already driving our cars. Like these long haulers that drive, let's say oranges across the country. They're being replaced by robotic cars and artificial intelligence, and they're starting to write music. They're using Google supercomputers, and they're feeding Frank Sinatra into it, Elvis into it, the Beatles into it. There's a whole long list of artists, and asking the supercomputer, write a song now using all the information you heard. So what are your thoughts on today's video? Do you think AI will take over the music industry? Please let us know in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our incredible videos. Keep an eye out for the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.